Hi, it's Seta here. In this tutorial I will show you how the height based blending works and how to use them in Unity RGTRP to achieve an even more realistic terrain. So let's get started. Height based blending allows mixing different textures based on their height information which is included in the mask map on the blue channel. A white color on this channel indicates that the corresponding part of the image will be higher, so it will appear area when painting the texture. Conversely, the darker the color, the later the part of the image will appear. So if you have a terrain texture that includes the blue channel, you can skip this chapter. However, if your terrain texture do not have height information, I will show you how to easy add them to the blue channel using the graphic program. Let's select the mask map from the terrain layers and as you can see we don't have any information on the blue channel so let's select the diffuse texture and mask map texture, right click and show in the explorer. Now open this texture in any graphics program. I use Photoshop but you can use any free program like GIMP or Krita. Ok, so we have these two textures, let's first desaturate the diffuse texture and then we need to increase the contrast between shadows and the highlights because as we can know the whitest part of the image will be higher and they appears much faster than the other part of this texture. So I move the shadow highlights and midtones to get more contrasted image. Now let's copy this texture and then in the our mask map let's select channel, blue channel and paste here the texture that we prepared before. Now let's select all channel and save this mask map. And now when we open the Unity we can find that our mask map have a blue channel which contains the height information. Now we need to create a material that will allow us to mix terrain layers based on the height. So right click in the project menu, create material, let's name it Terra and then we need to change the shader to HDRP terrain lit. Let's enable height based blending, increase just a little the height transition and enable GPU instancing. And now we have the material that we need to assign to the terrain. Now let's create the terrain, so right click 3D object, terrain, let's select options and now we need to assign this terra to the material. Let's decrease the width of the terrain, length and height. Let's move a bit closer to the terrain. Okay, and then we select find terrain. Now select add layers and add all layers that you want to use on this terrain. Of course, with the mask map that contains a blue channel. Now let's go back to the terrain. And when we select the terrain layers, we now have the channel remapping options. Let's get closer to the terrain. Let's set the amplitude to the 100 to all the layers and when we start painting we will not paint the entire flat texture but first we will start to see elements of this texture that in the mask map on the blue channel at a color close to the white. Of course you can move the base sliders to control the base of the high map. I prefer set amplitude to 100 to all layers and then control blending by increase or decrease the base value. 
Also remember that if you want to get a more realistic terrain, you should pay attention to make the transition between different textures as smooth as possible. In the real world, there is hard to find a sharp cut off between terrain elements. For example, if we have a sand and grass, then at the junction of those two planes, we will find a strip with some grass and some sand. So remember to always make a transition between one texture and another, because this will add realism to your scene. I hope that this tutorial was useful for you and now you can create an even more beautiful terrain. If you have any questions or want me to create a specific tutorial, just comment me below. And till the next time, see ya!